What's up, everybody? Prefix Wiz coming back at you with another Unity tutorial. Continuing our series with the Unity GUI, today we're going to talk about the input field, part two, saving info. And that starts right now. Double digit thousand. <laughs> The input field part two, saving info. Let's go ahead and open up Unity. First thing we're gonna do is create a canvas with a panel and on that panel, we're gonna go ahead and create an input field and a button. All right, and then we're gonna rename the text on the button, save. Oh, sorry. So the first thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and create a script and let's go ahead and name it, name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it, save stuff. All right, let's go ahead and open that in mono develop. Since we're using UI components, we're going to go ahead and add the using unity engine.ui. And let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff so we can start with a clean slate. All right. And up here, we're just going to create one public variable. It's going to be an input field. And we're just going to name it input text. And then we're going to create a string variable. And we're going to go ahead and name that tutorial text. Okay. Then what we're going to do next is create a public custom function. And I'm just going to name it save this. All right. So we're just going to create a player prefs. And we're going to set the string value to a specific key and this key I just named it tutorial text key name and uh, we're going to set it to whatever value the string is this variable okay so next we're going to go ahead and define what tutorial text is the string we're going to say that tutorial text is going to equal whatever's in that input field so when we type in that input field it's going to say hey you are now equal to whatever we typed in there Okay, so next, let's let's say we wanted to, when we started up the game or the project, we wanted to, you want that character's name to appear each and every time you start the game, let's just say. So we're going to go up here and just create a start function to go ahead and set that. Once we save it and then we start the game, that name will appear in the input field. So we're just going to go up here and create a basic start function. Okay, so in the start function here, all we're going to do is take that string, that variable string, tutorial text. And we're going to say that tutorial text is now going to equal player press dot get string instead of set string. We're going to get the information and we're going to get it by using the key name. So let's just copy that and paste it. Okay. Now that we've taken the information from the player press from the stored, the saved location, and we stored it in this variable. Now we have to set the input field text to equal this variable. So all we're gonna do is come down here and say input text dot text equals and then tutorial text. Oh, little note, I forgot to put text. So input text dot text, let's save that. Let's go back into Unity. All right, let's go ahead and put the script on the button. All right, now it's gonna look for the public variable, the input field. So we know that this is the input field. Let's just go ahead and drag this down into there. All right, and then we wanna go ahead and create an on-click event. So whenever we click a button, which is the button that we're going to click, we're gonna look for the script that's on us, which is the save function. And we're gonna look for that public function that we created, which was the save this. So when we click this, we're gonna fire that function and it should save it, okay? So let's just hit play. So let's type in prefix wiz. Let's hit the save button. All right, and if we were to stop this and start it back up, the start function should grab that saved information and place it inside the input field text. And prefix wiz shows up. If you wanted to change it, save it. If you were to leave and if you were to go back into the game, it pulls that saved information and places it in there for you. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Again, I just wanted to show you how to save the information. Uh, you know how to save it now. And you also know how to load it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And in either case, subscribe. Thank you.